we went we went out to uh, Rwanda. Me and uh, Dave Stanley, who is the Africa Project leader for uh, IPSA, and as my role as the the coaching education uh, director for IPSA, um, I was basically set the task of helping the coaches um, to develop different styles of, of coaching for. VI athletes, not just not just visually impaired, but the blind athletes as well. Within IPSA, within the world, trying to get them to do more sport. Um, and Rwanda put forward a, a a piece to Dave Stanley and to ask and see if we, we would come over. Um, so we went over for four or five days, did some coaching at their uh, national stadium um, on not not the best facilities ever and they didn't really have a lot of stuff and um, it was really humbling for me to, to go and see that especially we're based in Great Britain where um, we have a beautiful facility at the centre of excellence and um, but the people though are so enthusiastic and so um, what's the word like really dedicated in what they're doing so they they were, had a massive purpose they just wanted to crack on and, 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 and learn how to coach people with visual impairment and uh, we went to a blind school um, on, on one of the days to go have a visit and a bit of talk about judo and, and in, explain to the teachers there how judo is an individual sport but it's mutual benefit it's for you and for me it's for um, every, the, like everybody in the whole school can learn judo whereas on a goalball team you can have three players five players and six players are, are, when you go two teams so it's actually a very inclusive sport for them um, and they don't need many things, you know, they maybe need, uh, they don't necessarily need a judo kit, but if they have one, great, you know, they don't necessarily need a judo mat if they have one, great, you know, so, and when they, when they, when we spoke to the school directors and things like this, they, they were overwhelmed, they were, this is definitely something that we need to do. Well, myself and, and Dave Stanley, obviously we're both, both British and we're both working with IPSA and just for us to spread like our love for judo it, just to spread that to, throughout the world and by doing it through the medium of IPSA so the International Blind Federation it was fantastic like just getting the opportunity to, to even go and do and speak to people and we didn't just speak to Rwanda Rwanda Federation we spoke to Uganda Kenya uh, Botswana Congo you know uh, lots of nations like this that they 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 see Great Britain as a, um, a one of the leading nations in VI judo, and because they see Great Britain as a leading nation, it comes with a lot more um, punch, if, if that makes sense. So I think yeah, it was it was good for it's good for Great Britain, you know, to go and showcase our skills and um, what we do, and, and probably the level of professionalism that we have within our sport. And yeah, it's an inclusive sport. We we, we like that is one of the best things about judo it is inclusive um, and going and taking it to nations like Rwanda and Uganda they realize that, that judo can be inclusive for everybody as well so 